Hey everyone, Kim here with Whiny Women doing a wine review tonight. We are going to have a little bit of a treat tonight. Um, about, ooh, it's been a couple months. Uh, we were in, we made a special trip to Vancouver to go to Cellar 55. If you've not ever been there, it's a great little um, wine bar, uh, tasting room. Um, I wouldn't say a wine bar, it's a tasting room. Um, they, they, I think they house five different uh, wines, winemakers, um, and their wines, and um, they do a rotation. So what they do is a nice job at, um, you know, doing five or six wines from each of the different ones. So it's not all the same winery. Um, they give you a little bit of a mix, which was really cool because I was able to sample something from each of the winemakers and uh, ended up purchasing a few of the bottles from there. But one of the bottles I got was... Um, 2010 Merlot from Gordon Estate, and they're in Washington. They're along the Snake River, um, and they just really good. This Merlot is like a deep, inky color, and what's really cool is that it's a 2010, so it's pretty old. It was barrel aged, barrel um, aged in French and American oak for about 29 months. So I'm just like, how do people have patience? They must have some other wines going at the same time because I would lose it. Um, but it's a deep ruby color, um, signifying the rich aromas of black cherry, rose petals, and nutmeg in this bold Merlot. Aged in French and American oak barrels, this Merlot has a mouthfeel with smooth tannins and a toasty, lingering finish a great wine to pair with your favorite grilled meats um <clears throat> so i'm excited because washington has some big merlots um and sometimes they're bigger than the cabs but um so i'm excited about this and i'm glad i got this fine but like i said seller 55 they also have a tasting room um in washington where they're located so you can check out their website on whiningwomen.com and go to their link there and uh go check them out so um smallish winery um Oh my God. Oh, this is awesome. It smells like when you go in those cellars, like, you know, the California cellars um, underground, you can smell the oak just as you're walking through. It's awesome. You can smell all those jammy cherries on there. Mmm. This has a wonderful smell. I could just smell it. I could just do that all night. Mmm. Nice woodsy. Mmm. Grippy, yeah, this is the Kim wine, yes. Mmm. Oh my gosh. You get the fruits, like it slides over the very tip of the tongue and then it hits right before mid palate. And you taste all the plums and cherries and the tannin, and I don't get any pepper on this. Mmm. This is a good wine and I'm gonna say it's big only because it's very lush um, it might be considered a medium wine but this is really really good I am so and the, and the guy's owner's name is Jeff Gordon and what's really funny is that I have a friend from high school named Jeff Gordon that's really funny I don't think it's the same person um, but anyway I just thought that was really kind of cool so yes this wine Gordon Estate 2010 Merlot um, from the Columbia Valley um, I would go get some of this. Find it. Um, like I said, Cellar 55 Vancouver has it. I don't know where else you can get it, but you can certainly go online and order it from them on their website. Um, and so I'm super excited about this. I can't wait to drink it with my meal tonight. So until next time, you guys have a good evening. Cheers.